Companies are out here selling makeup removing cleansing balms for super expensive. And if the pond's cold, cream works just as well. And it's a scam. Glowy, but not too glowy, not too oily. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what happened to my skin as I used the one true OG skincare product, Pond's Cold Cream. And yes, in this video, I will be using the fragrance-free Pond's Cold Cream. I'm sweating as usual. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Audrey. I make beauty, skincare, and hair videos. So if you're interested in those types of videos, make sure you subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Audrey Victoria X. On the Pond's website, they claim to be the world's first skincare brand. And although they first started out in the 1800s with a product called Pond's Extract, which was just a healing ointment, it wasn't until the early 1900s that they got into the beauty and skincare industry. So in the mid 1910s to early 1920s, Pond's started advertising these two skincare products together, the Pond's Cold Cream and also Pond's Vanishing Cream. And those two products were advertised as sort of like a two part skincare routine. So you you were supposed to use the cold cream at night and the vanishing cream during the day. And I just find all of this so fascinating because I feel like this marks the beginning of what has turned into the apparent need of skincare and beauty products that are sold to us by advertisers and companies. And for the next hundred years, hundred plus years, the beauty industry and beauty companies turned into a multi-billion dollar industry selling us all of these products that we are, I'm going to say, brainwashed into thinking that we need. And it all started with Pond's Cold Cream. Anyway, Pond's Cold Cream was initially created as a product to cleanse your skin at night. And today it is more so marketed as a product to remove your makeup. Although I have read online that a lot of people use it just regardless of if they're wearing makeup or not. But in this video, I am going to be removing my makeup with it. On the packaging, it claims to be suitable for sensitive skin and it also claims that it is not gonna clog your pores. The instructions say to gently massage massage the cream onto your face and then to wipe it away with like a cotton pad or a warm washcloth. So now that you guys know the history and science behind Pond's cold cream, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, it is day one of trying the OG Pond's cold cream and I have a full face of makeup on right now. I do also have eyelash extensions on, so I'm just gonna completely avoid my eye area when taking off my makeup. Okay, so it definitely doesn't have a scent at all. Let's get started. Companies are out here selling makeup removing cleansing balms for super expensive. And if the Pond's cold cream works just as well, then it's a scam. Something I'm noticing and something that I read about this cream, when I took it out of the container, it was a cream, obviously. However, as I am blending it into my skin, it is turning into an oil. So it says to remove it with a warm, wet washcloth. So I'm gonna go get one of those and then I'll be back. So I didn't even discuss like if it looks like it got my makeup off, which it definitely does look like it removed my makeup, but I do wanna see how much will come off with the cloth. I really hope that this works better or as good as those super expensive cleansing bombs because, oh my goodness, who wants to spend that much money to remove your makeup? It completely got my makeup off. The thing that I'm most amazed about is how inexpensive this is. So obviously this is not enough to just like wash my face with. I'm gonna go cleanse my face now and I'll show you guys everything that I use for like my facial cleanser and moisturizer and stuff like that when I get back. So I will be right back. So I just washed my face and moisturized and throughout this entire video for the whole week, I'm gonna be using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser to wash my face after using the Pond's Cold Cream. And then after using the Fresh Face Wash, I will be using the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. And then after using my moisturizer, I wait like a minute or two and then I apply rosehip oil. But this is what my skin looks like after using Pond's Cold Cream for the very first time. I am pleasantly surprised. I was a little bit nervous that it was going to irritate my skin just because it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Nivea face cream. 
um, just in that it's an OG skincare product and just like the consistency. But I feel like because I used the unscented version, that definitely helped me out. And I don't know, it literally just worked like a regular high-end makeup remover. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I don't have any like breakouts or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it is the next day. I have like the tiniest amount of BB cream on my face that I applied like eight hours ago. I'm looking in the mirror and it kind of looks like it all came off, but I'm still gonna use the cold cream. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin was really, really oily today. And I think that might've been my fault. I don't think it's the cream's fault necessarily. I just think that I didn't do a good enough job at washing my face after using this yesterday. So today I'm actually gonna use a spin brush to wash my face to fully get everything off and hopefully Hopefully that will reduce the oiliness tomorrow. But in terms of acne, I don't have anything new. Um, my skin looks and feels really good aside from the oiliness. So I'm actually gonna go take a shower and then I will come back after I've finished up my skincare routine and we'll look at my skin one last time. So I just got out of the shower and I do feel like my skin looks a lot less oily. So I think that the spin brush did help to get rid of the oil situation I was experiencing. Other than that, I feel like my skin looks really good no irritation, no acne, nothing. My skin seems to be responding really well to this cold cream. Let me do like a super up close zoom. This is what my skin looks like. Glowy, but not too glowy, not too oily. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello guys. So today I am not going to do like a regular sit down update of how the pond's cold cream has been going on my or has been doing on my face i did use it a little while ago for a separate video so i'll insert that clip here but it worked really well and i'm starting to realize more and more that it does the same exact thing as the high-end makeup removers except it's just a fraction of the price and also i did notice that when i use the cold cream and then i use a facial spin brush or just like a cleansing brush it does help to make my skin not as oily if you guys can tell i did use pond's cold cream a few hours ago and my skin doesn't look that oily and i also oil cleansed i guess my only complaint thus far would be that i don't have to do that with pharmacies what is it even called i forget the pharmacy cleansing balm i don't have to use like a brush with that because it just like easily easily comes off when i wash my face but having said that i still think that the Pond's cold cream works perfectly fine and I just can't believe that it's sold at the drugstore but yeah the Pond's cold cream is not breaking my skin out it's not irritating my skin whatsoever I'm loving this thus far so with that being said I will see you guys tomorrow I believe tomorrow is day four um hopefully my skin continues to look good hey guys so it is the next day and I just have some BB cream on my face um, that I put on like a few hours ago and it kind of looks like it's already worn off, but whatever. I am now gonna use the Pond's cold cream. So I'll show you guys this once I wash my face and stuff, but I just think that my skin is responding really, really well to this. And I just wonder if partially it has to do with the fact that it's fragrance free because it reminds me a lot of the Nivea face cream that I tried. The OG version, like the scented one, has the same scent and that really made me break out. So I was thinking that this would make me break out as well, but it's not at all. And so I just think that my skin is responding really well to it and I'm very pleased. See, my makeup is off. Like, or my beauty cream is off. It literally takes care of all of it. I'm gonna go wash my face now with the brush get all this off and I will be right back okay so everything went pretty well when I was washing my face the only thing that occurred was that on the spin brush that I used there's like some makeup residue some BB cream residue left over so I think either I did not get the makeup off well enough with the Pond's cold cream when I initially used it or I didn't wipe it off well enough with the wet washcloth that I used or Pond's cold cream just doesn't work as well as I thought. 
but I do think that it was my fault. I'm sure I kind of felt like I wasn't rubbing it around on my face for long enough. So today I'm realizing that I probably need to rub the cold cream on my face for a good like 60 to 90 seconds in order to remove all of the makeup that would not be good the last thing i want is leftover makeup on my face because that would just make me break out hopefully tomorrow i don't wake up with a breakout or anything hopefully my makeup is thoroughly removed although i feel like i did thoroughly remove it with washing my face and then when i dried my face with this cloth i don't believe that there's any oh looks like there's a little tiny bit of makeup lesson learned hopefully I don't wake up with like a breakout or anything. I think my makeup's off. It doesn't look like I have any on. This has been my day four, I believe, update, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it is now day five, and I'm gonna remove my makeup with the Pond's cold cream as I've been doing this whole week. So I did not wake up with any acne today. And actually I have concluded that my skin looks better than it has looked in a very, very long time. But today I'm going to just use this cold cream and rub it around on my face for a lot longer than I did yesterday, just to make sure that I get all of the makeup off of my face. All right, let me go get a cloth and I will wipe it off on camera just to make sure that everything came off 100% today. So I just wiped everything off and it looks like everything came off 100% today. Although as I'm looking in the mirror, I don't think I removed. Okay, there we go. I just didn't get it around my nose. But other than that, it looks like everything came off today. But basically, I just feel like my skin looks really, really good. I'm not saying that like the cold cream is clearing up my acne and making me not break out as much as I have been over the last few weeks. I just think that, and by the way, when I say break out, I mean like maybe like three or four pimples up here or like three or four pimples down here. I don't think that the Pond's cold cream is keeping my skin clear. I don't think, maybe it is. I just suspect that it's proving to not be irritating for my skin whatsoever, especially because I'm using it every single day. I'm gonna go finish up my skincare routine and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is the next day. As you guys just saw, I took off my makeup and used the cold cream. I am still pleasantly surprised at, I feel like it looks like I have short hair. My hair is just in a bun. I am just pleasantly surprised at how well my skin is responding to this. I feel like my skin looks really, really good. Obviously it's oiled up because I just put um, my moisturizer and rosehip oil on but I really just, I am just amazed. It seriously is not irritating my skin at all. It is working so well. So this will definitely be going on my favorites list of like my favorite skincare products now because yeah, it's amazing. And also I've realized that if I massage the Pond's cold cream well enough on my face, for a good like minute or like 60 seconds to 90 seconds, then I don't have to use the spin brush after. And I can get away with just like washing my face with my hands and my face wash, obviously. And it comes out fine, not irritated. And when I wake up in the morning, my skin is not over oily. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello guys, it is the last day and I know I'm like all decked out in pink today. I have the cold cream here and I'm just gonna rub it on my face for exactly one minute to make sure that all of my makeup comes off. One thing I should point out is that um, obviously this review has been how Pond's cold cream works for my face and I'm sure but because it has worked so amazingly, it's gonna make a lot of you guys wanna try it too. But just keep in mind that obviously this goes without saying, everyone's skin is different, but also I only wear BB cream and a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I never wear foundation or anything like that. It's literally just BB cream, 
concealer and some loose powder and then of course like bronzer and blush and stuff like that now i'm going to go wipe this off wash my face and then i will be back for the final update all right you guys so i just washed my face i moisturized and everything like that but overall i absolutely love this pond's cold cream and i cannot believe that it took me this long to try it it literally does the same thing as every other makeup remover that i've tried that is sold at sephora or that is like kind of expensive at the end of the week i was left with no acne at all no irritation on my skin um and that is saying a lot because i'm i'm just like really surprised honestly so i will link this below if you guys would like to try it also if you guys have already tried it please let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys would like to see a video that i did trying out nivea face cream which i've been talking about a lot in this video i'll put that video right here and then if you guys would like to see a video that i did trying out shea butter on my face every day for a week i'll put that video right here thank you guys so much for watching i love all of you and i will talk to you guys next time